Hello, this is Bob again. I got a got a little demo here I want to do. It's November 8th, 2011. Beautiful day. We're in the mid 60s in the middle of November in this part of the country, and it's pretty rare. What I want to demo is. I wanted to, I've been, in my other videos and comments I made, talked a lot about dipole, matter dipoling. And what I've done here is I've set up a closed chamber, and I'm going to show you that in action. It's just a regular chamber. It's got a, it's got a full top disc, and it's got a full bottom disc. And what we have here... These, this is nothing but printer paper cut in a circle, and then I cut radiuses in it. I call this my waving daisy, and you'll see what I mean when I run it. It's just made out of paper. You can cut them out. This is what one looks like. They're kind of fragile. I keep them flat when I'm storing them because moisture, if you keep it set up in the chamber, what happens over time is moisture gets to the paper and it droops and uh, it doesn't work as well. All right, now remember paper is basically wood that's been processed and what's left when you have paper is basically the biggest part is celluloid. And celluloid, and that's what this and uh, celluloid is neither a good conductor nor a good dielectric. Don't know if you can call it a semiconductor, but wood is not really a good insulator anyways, to start with. It's not an excellent one, but here we go. There you go. You see, you see one part of them are going up and part of them are going down. And it's kind of random depends on the flexibility of the particular section or the radius and as they come up they'll discharge there's enough ion action in there that they will crop they'll bounce back you see how that one in the camera view here is uh, it's pretty good illustration where this one comes down to the negative plate the bottom plate being negative top being positive. I'm just running it with the Wimhurst. Do you see? It gets down and then it'll discharge and it bounces back. But, as you can see, there is no contact nor between the top and bottom plate. No contact made by the paper. No physical contact. Now you can. You can lower the you can actually bring the bottom plate up and set it up where it'll touch. They'll still do the same thing. But that's what I call my dazing wavy, uh, <laughs> waving daisy. And you can make, uh, you can try different types of paper. I've used uh, plastic. I've used metal. Uh, and they all do the same thing. Plastic, but... I'll get into that. I've got a on the dipole thing, but you can see that one they go down. So the material is dipole, dipoling. It, it's a shift. It's a shift in the electron clouds. If it wasn't for the electron shifting, it wouldn't dipole. And that's what I call. See, one side will be negative when this is positive, and opposites attract. And that's what's happening. There it goes. See? It gets real excited. Actually, you don't need a lot. You can just go real easy on the Wimhurst and you get a better reaction. Because what happens when you uh, turn the Wimhurst faster, all, all that's going to happen is that you're going to generate more ions. And then you'll establish ion flow. And uh, ion flow won't necessarily... Uh, go to the uh, through the paper or across the surface of the paper and uh, then so the slower you work it 
because you're still getting 70,000 volts, whatever the volume is. But you see, it works quite well. And it's a nice little demonstration, easy to make, and it help you understand what I when I use the term in my other videos or uh, in the future videos of any the word dipole, you know what it means. It's it's really when matter will literally electrically dipole. One side will be negative, one side will end, it will be positive, and that is the basis for all electricity. It's the movement of the electron in the material. This not being an excellent conductor, and I'm going to show you what a good conductor like aluminum does, and I'm going to show you what a real good, or a, a rather high dielectric is in another video. But I just thought this would be a neat thing. If you already have a closed chamber, it'll work in an open chamber as well. It doesn't have to be closed, it's just this you want to have to choose and set it up this way. But as you can see, it's kind of a fun, neat thing to watch for a few minutes, try to understand. But it's really the electric field, the electric field, and then it draws it, it starts the dipole, and then if you just keep generating, <coughs> there's the ions. <coughs> and you get ions almost instantly up the plates. As you can see that it works quite well. Well all right, I just wanted to show you. See, as long as there's a charge coming from the Windhurst and in the plates, even when I stop turning, it will still continue to shake. See? Still working. There's still some charge in there, but it's not discharging. So these leaves that are pulled up and down some of that is because they're still charged, and a lot of it is that the paper fatigues. And what I mean by that is that they will stay where they're if pulled down long enough, it'll stay there. But let's see what happens if I try to fully discharge it. See how they jumped? It kind of, they leveled out. See, there's still was some charge in that. Now we're going to. Turn it easy. You see how it pulls? I'm hoping you can see some of that. You can make these any number. I just happen to use a full, just draw, take my compass and I mark out a circle the right diameter and cut. Then I mark out the radiuses and I cut it. Now you can have as many as you want. I've got them. I made these with just two radius uh, paper and they uh, they're different because one will go up one will go down every time and this you have a random or however it wants to set itself up it falls into a pattern it's not every other one or something like that it's, it doesn't work that way but that, that's all there is it's just a, a nice little thing that you could build and try. You can try other material, but the paper is very nice to watch. If you don't, if you just turn the windmills, I don't know if you can see windmills wheels disc turning, but if the slower you go, the better, the more action you actually get. But see, it's discharging. If you could see this at night, there would be Sometimes there's a, a visible discharge, but that that's what I wanted to show you. That is what you call dipole matter. All matter dipoles. Matter. Well, all right. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but this is uh, November 8th, voting day around here. 2011, and uh, I'm going to get that, review it, put it up on the channel, and let you enjoy it. Make one yourself. Talk to you later.